This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. We got another Scotland run today. Uh, I literally just come back from holiday. Oh, it looks a bit dark over there, doesn't it? Just come back from holiday in Scotland. Monday morning, well, it's actually Monday afternoon now. We're getting loaded with uh, portable toilets, quite posh ones, and they're going up to a golf course in Dundee. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, it begins with a C, Can Calamondi, I don't know. It's right next to uh, like a beach or something, so it looks really good. Uh, I'm going up and Richard's going up in my old truck, G15. So, we need to uh, get loaded. We've got to strap up, put it all on, then get Richard loaded and uh, we can make our way up. It's 10 hours from here, see you in a bit. Right, we're all strapped up, ready to go. We uh, just gotta wait for Rich now to get loaded. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but on the back end of the trailer, there was like uh, like posh mirrors uh, and I strapped up uh, under the bottom. It's cause they got like, uh, like a gray graphite sort of bathing on the top. And if you strap over it, it damages it and scratches it. So uh, yeah, you can just about see. So basically on the, on the bottom, uh, you've got to strap it up from the bottom, crisscross, so you pull in both forwards and backwards and you can kind of see the orange straps that are doing crisscross over there. So yeah, it's a copy for Rich now to be loaded. I might get my drone out, do some flying. Right, we're loaded, Rich is loaded. Just gonna pull forward, see if he pulls forward, is he ready? Yeah, I heard his handbrake. Yeah, we've got a, uh, a long old drive. We're gonna be majorly pushed for time. We just found out we gotta get loaded in Falkirk for one o'clock tomorrow. I don't see it happening, to be honest. I need to do some calculations on the way up, but, uh, well, four and a half hours drive time from here is going to put us up near Manchester. 
And then we need to stop for a break. Uh, what time is it now? It's just gone three o'clock. Yeah, it's just gone three o'clock. Or was it half three? Quarter past three. It's four and a half hours driving. I bet this is not including traffic, so that's going to be four, five, six, quarter past seven, quarter to eight. Then we need a 45 minute break, it's half past eight. And I can only work to quarter to nine, so I can only do four and a half hours driving for here, from here. Nine hours off. So nine hours off from, let's say, half eight would be. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, half past 5 in the morning. And then if we do four and a half hours driving today, and it's a 10 hour drive, that's five and a half hours tomorrow. Starting from, I'm getting lost now. Five and a half hours tomorrow, starting from 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, from half past 5 would be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock. Then we need a 45 minute break, so quarter to 12. So I reckon we're going <laughs> to. We're not going to get there till 12 o'clock, I think, tomorrow. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be very tight. Anyway, we shall see. Uh, I'm going to get on with it anyway, drive as far as I can, and uh, I'll talk to you a little bit later. Right, we've been, uh, we've been driving for about an hour now. We've uh, sort of established roughly where I'm going to stop. We're just sort of working out time, so we've got another three and a half hours driving time. Uh, we both need to stop for fuel, so we're going to stop at Sherwell Valley Services. Um, which is it's about half an hour away from where we are. We're on the A34 right now, heading uh, around Oxford, or towards Oxford actually at the moment, but then we will be going around Oxford, up to the M40 where we're going to then go to Sherwell Valley Services, and then from the M40 we'll then go on to the M6 via the M42, I believe, and then uh, going to head up to Warrington. I don't think we're going to get any further than Warrington tonight, uh, so we'll park there, for, hopefully, in an in industrial estate, um, park up there for nine hours and start again roughly about half past five in the morning and uh, do the remaining journey. Boss reckons we can get there uh, before we need another break, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> um, we might do, we might not, but uh, we, we, we'll do what we can. Well, that's, that's all we can do at the end of the day, isn't it? So we'll stop for the, uh, for the nine hour break in a, an industrial estate in Warrington, start again as early as possible and crack on. Um, and if we've got to stop, we've got to stop. But um, hopefully we can get it off quite quickly because uh, we've got to get reloaded, reloaded up. Blackwood, I think he said. So, um, yes. That's the plan. So uh, I'll see you in a little while. Probably when we get some fuel. And then, uh, and then again when we park up. See you in a bit. Yeah, I know I need a break. <laughs> um, right, we are pushing it for time. We are on currently four hours, 15 minutes of drive time, which means we've only got 15 minutes left of driving time. Uh, and Richard behind us, for some reason, even though we've done exactly the same miles and same mileage and same route, uh, he's only got 10 minutes of driving time left. However, in two minutes time we're entering an industrial estate and that is where we are planning on parking tonight. Now I've never been here before, well I've been here before, Middles, Middleswich is it? I think it's Middleswich, but I've never stayed at this uh, industrial estate so fingers crossed we can find a space. Hopefully, hopefully there'll be room. Now the sun is starting to set which means it's right in our eyes. It looks to be an estate down there as well. Uh, yeah, we should be alright. Unfortunately, we haven't got quite as far as we wanted to get. Um, we're like not even north of Manchester. We're south of Manchester. Annoying. Now, there are trucks here. There's a lot of trucks here. Hopefully we can find some room for us. Oh wow, it's very busy.
squeeze one in there. Oh, ho, ho. it's very busy. Get us both in here. You will arrive at your destination at 202. All right, let's have a look down these sides. We're not going to get down here. So I'm using this bit of road to uh, turn around. Hopefully he's going to follow suit. I don't think those gates are going to be open. If I park here, should be able to get people around. Just going to see if there's enough room for him behind. Get right up to my door. Should be all right. Yeah, keep going. Ash, one sec. I'm going to wait him up a sec. Right, so we are both parked up, back doors are open, we're not blocking any entrances, there, I mean there are entrances on the left of me but both companies don't open up until 8 o'clock, we're leaving at 5, so well before they even open, uh, and we're not impeding traffic, traffic can get around, even lorries can get around, so happy days, but I think these are <laughs> one of the last two spaces there are in the whole area, so I need to clock off. We ended up uh, finishing on 4 hours and 20. He would be on about 4.25. Actually, oh, yeah, that's good going. Right. Unfortunately, we're not in Scotland tonight, but we will be in Scotland in the morning. See you then.
and good morning from Scotland. Yes, we are now in Scotland. Um, would have been nice if we could get up here last night, but obviously we ran out of driving time. Well, actually, we didn't run out of driving time, technically. We had to stop for a break because we were on maximum uh, driving time before needing a break. Once that break would have finished, I would have only have had 15 minutes left on the working time. So uh, that's why we stopped last night where we did at 8 o'clock. We resumed at 5 o'clock this morning. Uh, and I've been driving now for nearly three hours. So uh, we will need to stop again in an hour and a half. Uh, we, we're going to stop at Route 74 truck stop. We're going to be there in about an hour. So we'll be on four hours driving again when we, uh, when we stop there. And then by the time we get to Route 74, have a 45 minute break, we should be about two and a half hours away from our drop off point which is key because I wanted to get there around about sort of three hours or under um, because if we do get offloaded very quickly and we can't get a break in then we can go straight to our pickup point which is about an hour and a half away and uh, get reloaded without having to have another break so that's why I wanted to keep going going and going and going until uh, until we're under three hours basically to our to our drop point and it's going to work out that we're about two and a half hours away so all good all good in the hood now my mate richard he uh, he poured into the services in england can't remember which one they were but he poured into one of the services uh for a 15 minute break uh so he should catch me up while i'm having a 45 minute break he should catch me up and then have a half an hour break and we should be leaving around about the same time at route 74 fingers crossed that's the plan so there we go. <laughs> but yeah, a bit, bit of a shame that we didn't get a little bit further up yesterday. Uh, but it's a long old drive this from, from Basingstoke to Dundee in a HGV is a 10 hour drive when you can only do 53 miles an hour, which is what this truck does, 53 miles an hour. So yeah, it's a long old drive, but um, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're more than halfway through, so. <laughs> right, let's crack on to, uh, to Route 74. See you when we get there. Right, we just uh, just pulled in now to uh, to Route 74 truck stop. Um, need a 45 minute break, so. I reckon I might go and get some breakfast because I'm hungry. <laughs> uh, the time is, hang on, what time is it? It's 10 past nine in the morning. Uh, obviously we left at like five o'clock uh, this morning. So time is, uh, well we've done four, hour, four hours driving. So makes about a bit of sense, doesn't it? Including your daily check. So anyway, we're uh, gonna go and get something to eat. Got my face mask, cause we're still in Scotland and Scottish rules say you have to wear a face mask still when you're inside. Let's go. Yeah, it had to be done. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right, I've just had, uh, had my breakfast and just bumped into somebody. <laughs> He's alive. <laughs> Been a while, isn't it? Anyway, we're done. We're gonna head back to the truck and crack on with the day. Right, so break is over about a 45 had a cheeky meal just waiting for it good uh, and we bumped into trucker jay as well as you saw i think my uh trailer brakes turned on my trailer brake has been turned on I bet you that was Jay. Jay! Anchor. <laughs> <laughs> what a funny f***. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it it's on the vlog. <laughs> I'm recording now. Well, I've just, I've just recorded you now, so Jay, I'm thinking it anyway. 
<laughs> Send it through, I'll put it in the vlog. I'm recording now, the microphone's on. Oh, was it? Yeah. Well, have a good day. Do you not see nothing? Do you not think anything was wrong with a pot? Have a good day, Luke. No. <laughs> Such a knob. <laughs> see you later. Put my bloody trailer brake on. Right, try again. See <laughs> now on. This down to the lorry go. <coughs> We're going to go out this way. Just make sure there's nothing coming to the left. There isn't. <laughs> trying to trying to beat us out <laughs> oh he's funny i keep getting a lot of comments from people asking where jay is well there he is pulling uh pulling pranks and we're good to go Anyway, uh, Jay's going back down south, so we, uh, we're not going to see him. He's, his truck's faster than mine, so he would overtake if we were both heading north, but uh, he's heading south, we're heading north. Uh, but yeah, nice to see you, Jay. Nice of you to put my trailer brake on. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, anyway, let's crack on. We've got two hours and 20 minutes until we get to, uh, to our destination, ETA, 20 past 12. See you shortly. If you're looking to get into the HTV industry or you're already in the industry but want to refine your existing skills, I highly recommend that you purchase the Trucker's Handbook by Malcolm Green. There is a link in the description down below. This thing is absolutely ram packed with information. Anything and everything you need to know regarding HTV is in this book. Go and buy it. Link is in the description down below. Okay, so we are now only a mile, well, 1.4 miles away. Now, we've We've been told to come in this certain way by uh, the people we're delivering for, but there are AA signs saying deliveries go another way, so we're not sure if we're going in the right way or not. But uh, well, this is the way we were told to go. <laughs> so this is, this is the way we're going to go. Um, yeah, we've got to go down to Church Street. I hate anything called Church Street, Church Lane. They're never very nice and then um, make a left, which could potentially be a tightish left, certainly onto the other side of the road, left, to get in, go over a level crossing, and then turn right, follow that road all the way down. The seafront would be on our left at that point. Uh, and we've got to go to gate B for Bravo, uh, and just pull up on the road, and they'll offload us there. So oh, yeah, that's 30 mile an hour limit. Advance warning. So we are delivering to uh, the Women's Open. We did the Open Golf in Kent not too long ago. We've done Tower Bridge. We've done, um, uh, what was it? Um, <laughs> Formula E. We've done uh, the, the Flower Show in, near Nutsford. So this sort of, this work is awesome. and takes you all around, which is really good. Now we're doing the Women's Open in Dundee, Scotland. So it is nice. It's nice that it gets you all out and about. Hopefully we can do some work at Silverstone soon. That'd be nice. We will see. Anyway, seafront is right, I can see the sea. You need to put, put your nose in, mate. Thank you. I would have hit that car if she didn't move back. <clears throat> I'm doing the window so I can concentrate. You know how it is.
Oh, you can smell the sea. You can smell you at the seaside. Ah, this road looks, uh, I was going to say, I was about to say it looks quiet enough. Oh, you, I just flashed him and then he flashed me back and slowed down. No worries, mate. The beacons are on still. So there's a left turn coming up. I think it's just after the traffic lights. Annoyingly, because there's going to be traffic now stopping the other side as well. Or is it this side of the traffic lights? It's this side of the traffic lights. Got my beacons on so they can see I'm turning left. Is Rich coming? He is. So we want to go over the train track. I always look. I always look left and right, just in case. All clear. Ah, oh, that'd be awesome. I got my drone on me. Would be awesome to get some shots down there. Yep, I know. Sat another same way here. But now we're now driving blind. Gate B. Where are you? Uh, we had to go down, well, we had to take that left there, go over the, the, uh, the level crossing because every turn on the right hand side here, which also takes you to the high street, it's got like a bridge which is like two metres in height. Right, delivery point B straight on. Yeah, 2.2 .2 metres. Oh my god, that's such a small bridge. If I jump, I might bang my head on it. Right, I think this is going to have to do for now. Let's go and see someone. Rich is going to have to reverse back so he's not blocking the entrance. Let's go see what's crack See you in a bit. Right, it's going to get a bit tight here. Yeah. That tractor who come across us earlier is now coming back. Then Rich is going to park parallel to me, next to me. I'm going to reverse back and go in which is then going to reverse back again and block the entrance while I'm in there. That's the plan, all right So Rich now needs to park on my right-hand side. I'm going to get as fast forward as I can just to give him a bit of extra room. Right, I'm now going back. Bam, 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 bam. What, what side do you want me on? The right side? Yeah, we'll do. Doors tight on the uh, inside of the fence. Oh, there we go. I will need to just go back and just straighten up a little bit tighter.
Whoa! <laughs> Right, we're in. That's the main thing. Rich is going to stay out on the road and get offloaded on the road. Can I open my door here? Just, but I could do with giving me a little bit of more room. I do. Right. Let's uh, do the windows up and let's uh, get the curtains open. See you in a bit. Right, we are fully tipped. We just need to attempt to get out now. Yeah. You what? I uh, just need traffic that way and that way out of the way. Yeah. And then I'm going to reverse down there, turn round. Well, reverse on my good side, so you just have to make sure there's no traffic there as well, like. All right. Yeah, as long as he moves, you're going to have to go, mate. I'm reversing out. Fooky. It's going to be a bit of a nightmare, yeah? Uh, I need to get a tighter angle than that. Ah, lovely. That's just wide, widened it right up.
professional. <laughs> Yeah, hello, Jerome. Right, cheers, mate. Yeah, see you later, mate. Right, we're off. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm getting people say that I do. Right. Oh, he's letting me through. I was going to put my seatbelt on while he uh, come past. Never mind. Right, we are fully tipped. We are now heading uh, heading over to Blackford. I'll uh, turn my beacons off now because my beacons are on. Uh, yeah, I flew my drone all, all the way down here along the coast. It looked pretty cool, actually. But uh, we haven't got time to stop. We're supposed to be getting loaded at one o'clock. Oh, my God. We're supposed to be getting loaded at one o'clock. Uh, we're going to be there for half past three. Um, and Rich is going to be there even later because he's he hasn't even been unloaded yet. So uh, I'm getting a move on. Gonna gonna leave him there. So at least one of us can definitely get loaded. Train's coming down. Look. So yes, we're gonna crack on and uh, get loaded from uh, Highland Spring is where we're going, and then make our way back down south. We're gonna at least get to Route 74, hopefully, and then. Um, assess the situation but basically I want to be far enough down that I can then wake up in the morning and get there in one hit i.e. Not, not have to stop for a uh, for 45 minute break less than four and a half hours driving basically but um, we'll have to see we'll have to see right let's crack on I'll see you in a little bit right we are just around the corner we're five minutes away a little bit concerned because we've got to cross the carriageway uh, I didn't think we had to do that I need to make a judgment. And also coming out, I thought we were going to come out that road there and then spin around and come back down again. But it's saying on the way out, we then cross the carriageway again. There we go, Blackford, look, turn right in a mile. Hopefully we can cross. I can see it being quite bad coming out though, because we'll be loaded, so we'll be very heavy. But we'll have a go. Right, we're getting loaded in that green building on the right, Highland Springs. Island Spring, there we go. That's where we're getting loaded. I can see there's some trucks in there already. Let this van pass and then we're going to indicate and turn right. Hopefully we can cross. If I deem it not to be safe enough, then we'll uh, go down and find a roundabout, turn around and come back and do it on the good side. But ah, I've just seen a bus cross, so it should be fine. I've seen a few signs saying no U-turns or HGVs, no U-turns. No turning right for HGVs because the trailer kicks out into the live lane. But it looks like, looks like yeah, we've got a dedicated right turn lane, look. We're gonna be okay. But what about the way out? Yeah, we've got a dedicated lane to go out as well by the looks of it. Well, there I can see it being tight. Ooh trailer's going to be eight. Mm. Might go out the other way and just spin round on the way out. Just to be safe, because if I cross here and stop there, my trailer's still going to be in the road. Okay, we should be able to make that. Yeah, loads, loads of time. Please drive safely. Yeah, if we follow this road all the way out the other side, there's a, a like a, not a lay-by, but a, a slip road that joins back up onto that A road going that way and then just spin around at a roundabout, which is about a mile or two down the road. Distillery. Which we will probably do on the way out, just to be safe. Right, hokey dokey. We, uh, we're now loaded. We've got a full load of water on. We've got 25 pallets on. Uh, we've just left. We've 
we had to turn right, like I thought, out of the place. In fact, the guys make a point of telling you uh, to turn right, to which I said, well, there's like 20 signs telling you to turn right. And I'm sure people still turn left. And he was like, yeah, people still turn left. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's as I thought. You, you can turn left, but you can't cross the draw carriageway without like your trailer being in the road still. So we've had to come out, spin round, go back down, which is where we are now. Uh, and it's going to be an interesting one tonight. So we started at 5 a.m. We can work until 8 p.m. Current time is uh, quarter past six. So we've got an hour and 45 minutes left of working time. Hour 45. We're an hour and 10 minutes away from Route 74. Uh, I've already reserved two spaces from both me and Rich. Whether, whether Rich makes it in time, I'm not sure. Um, I'm going to get there with about 35 minutes to spare. Rich, on the other hand, he's still getting loaded. Uh, one side was done, so as long as he leaves in the next half an hour, he should also be able to make Route 74. If not, there is parking. I can actually see the parking there. There is parking right outside. If he, if he knows he ain't going to make it, he can park there. But, um, yeah, fingers crossed he can... Uh, he can make it. So yeah, we're we're heading we're heading to Route 74. We're we're fine. We we get to have a nice hot meal for dinner tonight, <laughs> um, and then pretty much bed again because it's going to be nine hours off again. And then first thing in the morning start. It's going to be an earlier start tomorrow. So it's going to be four o'clock start in the morning. Uh, well, maybe even earlier than that actually because I'll be should be parked up by half past seven. So that's half past three start. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three. Half past four. Yeah, half past four. Sorry, get my maths wrong. So we can start at half past four tomorrow. Um, and then it's a five and a half hour drive down to Birmingham. So from half past four, it's going to be half past five, six, seven, eight, half past nine, ten o'clock. Plus we need a 45 minute break, which will put it to quarter to 11. Um, plus the 15 minute daily check is 11 o'clock. So we're not going to make Birmingham until 11 a.m. tomorrow booking in time is between 8 and 10 so we are going to be an hour late for tomorrow's booking with no traffic um, and minimum rest so we're, we're up against it but we'll do what we can it's all we can do that's all the boss asks of us just to do what we can so uh, and that's, that's that's what we're going to do <laughs> so I'll see you when we get to Route 74 in about an hour's time uh, and we should fingers crossed have a couple of boards out with our registration numbers on saying uh, reserved because uh, I phoned up earlier in anticipation. Right, see you in a bit. Okie dokie then, so we're uh, just around the corner now from Route 74. Just having a look. If I, <laughs> if I really wanted to, I could get, I could walk down here to about here or something. It's only half a mile walk. Uh, and get my drone out and fly it all the way down the end of this road and follow Rich back. <laughs> um, I don't know, it seems a bit like too much effort. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, we're here now. We're going to go in. Oh, get a late. So we're, uh, we're booked in for, sorry, not booked in. We're, we've got a reservation. We're going to be there in like two minutes. It's 20 past seven. So we're good on the old work in time. And uh, yeah, we're in we're in a ten hour drive as well. When we get in we're gonna have to try and find the uh, the billboard. I think they I think they put your reg out to say it's been reserved, so we've got to find our uh, our reg. Depending on where they've put it, if I, if they've put Rich in a harder place to park than our park there, and, uh, and swap them around, I don't think that will matter too much. Yeah, it does look like there's a few trucks in there. Turn my reverse beep it off, what do I remember? It's like announces to everyone that you're just turning left. <laughs> right, where are these boards been put? 
Uh, I think they're there. Park on the one furthest away. Let me just go and move it. <sighs> just gotta check the back end, see how much further back I can go. <sighs> yeah, I'll be able to go all the way back until the wheels stop me. I shouldn't hit the wall. There we go. Right, that's just parked up. Hopefully Rich can get in that gap. I'll, uh, I'll guide him when he gets here. Happy days. That's it. It's pretty much our Scotland run, that is. Uh, I mean, we're still in Scotland, but we're just going running back to England now. So that is going to be the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I don't think I'm going to get my drone out. If I do, it'd be, it'd be at the end. But I don't think I'll. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon.